Hey there, do-it-yourself technician. Today, I want to talk to you about this, the A-Logic Fusion Max USB-C 6-in-1 Hub. I mentioned this last week because it's what I use to connect a third screen to my computer, but it's really handy if you've got a machine that only has USB-C ports. But first, what is it? This device plugs in to the USB-C port on your computer and it provides a VGA port, a HDMI port, a wired network port, two USB-A ports and a USB-C port on the bottom. Yep, all of that from one plug. USB-C really is that versatile. If you want to learn more about USB-C, see episode 109 linked up here. It's worth noting that I think, or as far as I've been able to do, you can only get the HDMI or the VGA port to work, not both. So how do I use it? For me, it has VGA plugged into screen number three, wired ethernet to give me a faster network connection, a USB-A cable that connects up to the hub built into my monitors and allows me to connect a wired keyboard and mouse as well as a printer. It has my USB-C power cable plugged in so that my laptop gets power when it's plugged in. And I still have a USB-A port free if I want to plug in a memory stick or external hard drive or something. This means when I get into my office, I simply plug in the USB-C connector from the hub and all of those things are active. I then plug in a HDMI cable directly to the laptop for my second screen. Lastly, I plug in a set of speakers. Now I'm done. I have the full setup of a desktop with the portability of a laptop. I also tried plugging in one of the newer MacBook Pros that only has USB-C ports and it worked perfectly. Network, second screen, keyboard and mouse all just started working instantly. Now I will say these things are not exactly cheap. I found this one on eBay for $130 including shipping or you might find one at your local PC retailer or electronics store. For the convenience of only having a few cables to plug in to get a full desktop experience, I think it's really worth it. For me. I could be happier. Well, actually, that's not completely true. What I would love is a card reader included. This laptop only has a micro SD card slot, and the camera that I use to record these videos shoots with a full-size SD card. It would be really handy to have a card reader built in. Although, to be honest, I could just add one on top and it wouldn't be hard. For the moment, I've got this old laptop that I refurbished in this episode up here. And all it does is copy the files from the SD card to the network share where the video editing takes place. Question of the day. Can you see yourself using something like this? Do you have a laptop that has a very limited supply of ports that can really do with some expansion? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this was useful, hit the like button. Thank you. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it if it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before here and here. And if you click on the logo down here, you can subscribe to these videos and cl then click the bell to be notified of anything new as it comes out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next video.